Welcome to the Roscommon Town Interactive Heritage Tour. This tour consists of 10 points of interest, linking the structural heritage of the town with its people. The stories of these buildings are passionately recounted by locals from the area. So there was a very famous, very notorious hangwoman, Lady Betty. It was a big, bold statement. And vividly portrayed by footage of the fascinating and sometimes hidden features of these sites. All that's needed to take part is a mobile device with a QR code reader app and a love of heritage. A monastery founded by St. Coman in the mid-8th century was the catalyst for the beginning of structured settlement in the area of Roscommon town. The later arrival of an Augustinian house, under the patronage of the King of Connacht, heralded further growth and the building of a Dominican friary and a royal castle point to Roscommon being an important ecclesiastical and administrative centre in medieval times. As the town grew through the ages, other buildings of importance such as the Old Jail, the Assizes Court and Market House, the 19th century courthouse and the Old Infirmary have thrived, sometimes by changing function and have become focal points of the town's landscape. The modern and prosperous town of Roscommon, which values its rural links, has much to offer the visitor and local alike, with a variety of accommodation options and so much to see and do in the area. The town is home to a tasty array of eateries, niche, high street and family run shops, and of course many heritage points of interest to visit, all within easy walking distance of the free car parking in the town. The first point of interest on the Roscommon Town Interactive Heritage Tour is the Dr. John Harrison Memorial Hall. The John Harrison Memorial Hall and the manse next door, they're two very beautiful features here in our historic town square. The John Harrison Memorial Hall was built originally as a Presbyterian church by a Michael Shearer in the 1860s. A few years later then, the, the lovely building next door, the manse, was built afterwards as the minister, the Presbyterian minister's residence. There's a wonderful feature here on the front of the church, the, the lovely window. It's the St. David's Star window, and reputedly it's to acknowledge the Welsh stonemasons who worked on this building. There was a very interesting Presbyterian family called the Watts, and the head of that family, he was brought to install the plumbing in our Catholic church. Another member of that family called Willie Watt, he actually took part in the 1908 London Olympics. By the mid-1920s, many Presbyterian churches had amalgamated and this church amalgamated with that loan. So from there through until about 1961, it really was only used when visiting ministers could come and officiate maybe at a baptism. The Harrison Hall Trust purchased this building in 1990 and they oversee the use of it as a community building and it houses now a museum and a tourist office. The museum has many, many interesting artefacts dating right back to 6000 BC through to more modern exhibits. In 1990, um, the manse next door was purchased by a local family, um, locally known as Dr Kilmartin's house. It has become a restaurant and rooms. There's a really interesting sculpture, a sheep and lamb sculpture here at the front of the building. It was commissioned by Roscommon Lamb Festival and it was sculpted by local craftsman Mark Feely. And it really honours the rich agricultural heritage of this area. <laughs> 